We have fire. I think they're... It's burning down pretty good now. Hello, Bill here with Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a fixed blade knife as a draw knife and a fleshing tool. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. I, uh, I have a piece of pine here that I, uh, I harvested. I have a downed pine next to me. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a fixed blade knife. And you can use uh, pretty much any fixed blade knife uh, for this purpose. Uh, full tang and uh, it should have, as any bush, good bushcraft knife should have, a sharp 90 degree spine on it. And that has a variety of uses uh, in, uh, in bushcrafting. So basically I harvested this piece of pine. I left the bark on to give it a grip. And what you do is you take your knife I flattened out a little spot here as you can see take your knife get it on here and baton let me bring you guys up here just a bit so you can see what I'm doing on your knife into your uh, your branch it started to split there hopefully I didn't go too far so this is basically what we have now what this does this gives you a handle over on this side and it transforms your knife into a draw knife. And uh, I'm going to go over to uh, a piece of pine, a piece of this dead pine here, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, how to do this. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the uh, piece of that downed pine that I was referring to. And uh, you might be able to see the rest of it in the background behind me. And this piece is uh, sticking up out of the ground. It's pretty sturdy here. And uh, this is just an example of how to use this as a draw knife. You get up, kind of plant your belly up into the, the end here. And you can use this for debarking. And it's very safe to use because you're pulling away so if this pops out it's just gonna this handle is gonna go this way so as long as you're you're very careful uh, with what you're doing here and keep your elbows in tuck your elbows into your side and that way you have kind of a built-in stop in other words you don't want to go all the way back into your belly but the handle will stop that also but just kind of be mindful of what you're doing and keep your your elbows tucked in, but this works really good as a, as a draw knife. I'm a minimalist. I, uh, I, uh, I prefer to carry a, a, a minimal amount of gear and the more functions that a particular piece of gear uh, has, uh, the less things you have to carry. And uh, you can also flip this over and you can use this as a flushing tool. So say we were, were flushing a hide here and we drape the hide over this and use this as a flushing beam. 
you flip this over, use that 90 degree edge, because you don't want to use anything sharp when you're uh, flushing a hide. Uh, you'll risk uh, punching a hole through it or tearing it. But this works really good as a, uh, as a flusher. handle just just has great grip to it and gives you a lot more leverage with your with your knife this is just more ways you can you can use a uh, you can use a uh, a tool for for uh, multiple purposes and uh, I use a knife for just about everything. I, I never carry a hatchet and my knife is my, my multi-purpose tool but when you're when you're flushing a hide you want to make sure your, your your flushing beam here doesn't have any high spots or whatever remove the bark and uh, you flush it then you, you turn it because you're only working a very small part of it here on the radius. I'll do a uh, I'll do videos down the road on how to uh, how to flush hides how to brain tan, uh, dehair, using uh, using uh, the uh, alkali uh, wood ash to uh, as a uh, as a, uh, a dehairing agent, uh, etc. But this is just one more uh, one more useful tool you can put in your toolbox. Please like, subscribe, and share. I hope everybody's having an outstanding day or night, depending on where you're located. And uh, I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.